Well, guys, welcome back to the channel again. I'm out with a nutter. Um, this is Reddish PlayStation, and uh, let's see what's going on here today, guys. So it looks as though they've got stock Stockport Mobile PlayStation. We just missed a some officer. Um, so has it got any windows in this? Like cell windows? I've seen these on the telly. I've never really seen one in real life. I wonder if them are like the cells so you can see out. So what I think they do with these is they have them like in a town centre on a night. And then if there's like any trouble... Um, they just take them in there, so, yeah, man. Attention! This place van has got its window open. Manual incident switch that blow button says there. So yeah, this is reddish reddish. I'm thinking I'm pronouncing that right. Reddish PlayStation. Um Do I have to go out to get round to the front? I don't know guys. I don't know, but let's go through. Isn't that? Right, let's have a look. Yeah, because it's saying on there, on there, what it is, the can't attend, uh, public can't just turn up because of the coronavirus, basically. Well, they wouldn't pick the fucking front door up. Have they bricked it up? <laughs> fucking hell. There's the, um That opens outwards anyway, that. There's the yellow phone of disconnection with the BT logo. Oh, Nelly, I haven't seen that logo for years. At least, got a, at least I know. Get on, at least they've got a... Not as just said there, at least they've got a defib. Well, aye, man. Well, aye. At least they've got a defib. That's someone's garden. So, yeah, I think it's just a little community PlayStation, this, guys. But... Um, we've just missed a guy, uh, I don't know if he was community police officer or um, a normal police officer, uh, police constable even, or a uh, PCS, or, um, but listen, I'm not going to stay here long, um, just going to have a little look about guys, um, I definitely say it hasn't got a custody suite. Um, I might try and knock on the door and see if we can get some. We've got sirens. And it's the poor poor. The poor poor aren't coming out of here to respond, are they? That's mad, that, isn't it? No way, plate. Fighting crime, protecting people. Fighting crime and protecting people, that says. Yeah, I've never actually seen one of these in Paris, like in real life. I've seen, only seen them on the telly where they have them like down in the um, town centres. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see if we can get any uh, response at the back door. So, guys, I am going to read this, right? Due to the current... Well, I don't know if you can both read it on the video. Due to the current issue with coronavirus, we are unable to respond to visitors to the police station other than those attended by appointment. If you have an emergency call, nah, nah, nah. Over less pressing matters, please ring 101. 
if you'll be quiet, the services. Got some police officers coming in here, guys. Um, let's see what's happening here. Well, let's finish that. If you require any information, I'm Rajesh Neighbourhood Team. I'm all lot local man emergency issues. Can you make contact with us? So, yeah, that I mean, that's you can tell that's old. You haven't even washed it, man. Look at all that up there. I don't know if you can see it on the video. But all that. So guys, um we've got some PCSOs here. Um coming round, coming round, coming round. Three PCSOs. Yes man. Yes man. All PCSOs guys. Yeah. Have any of you got that um union jack on guys? Do you know the onion jack that you wear? Yeah. Have you got it on? No. Do you know why I wanted to ask you? I, I believe that's um, to represent people who's died, like police officers who's died. And I certainly don't want to see that. I am an independent journalist, uh, okay. guys. Uh, I'm not an auditor, because uh, sometimes I get mixed up with being an auditor. Uh, so, yeah, I am an independent journalist. I like to come and get a bit of a visual and then go home and do my report. Um, so, this um, onion jack, any of you got it on, guys? Um, basically, so I believe it's um, for officers uh who's fallen and died um my question is this why can't the police wear something maybe alongside that um union jack to represent the people that's been di uh, who's died or been murdered in um, police custody if there was such symbol or badge would you be willing to wear that I i'm not going to make comments in all matters well it's like not it's, it's, it's personal choice isn't it? yeah and, and that's but, why i'm asking but, would but, you but would there you is, there is parts of it that you know some members of staff are advised not to where Union Jacks on the uniform. Right. So it, it's funny that. But a lot do, don't I say? A lot, a lot know, of police know, officers do. So I, I was just do. wondering, would you, as a police officer, I mean, it's tragic if a police officer or a member of the public yep. actually dies, yep. would you be willing to show your support to the public or, and represent them people who have died in police custody? Yeah, you, you're asking me a question which is a question for my personal views outside of work. So well, I'm no, because you'd be inside work, wouldn't you? Yeah, Wearing in, it. Yeah, I'm in work at the minute, and that's that's my point about the Union Jack. So it's kind of one of those staff really shouldn't be wearing the Union Jacks on a police uniform. Respect. It's not part of the police uniform. I know, so, and that, so do you know what's there? That goes back actually, but, sorry yeah. to interrupt you. It goes back, I'm not sure of the um, proper year, but it goes all the way back to the 1800s, sir. Right. Um, Basically, a policeman or policewoman's uniform should be kept in the condition that it was handed to them, i.e. there shouldn't be any symbols uh, attached to a police uniform. Yeah. So, do you know what? Respect for yeah. saying that. Yeah. Um, but you know, but I just think that if you, if some police officers, not none of you, yourselves are police officers, but if they're going to wear something to represent colleagues that's died, then I think it's only right that they should be um, wearing something to represent. Because people who do come in contact with yourself, guys, you've got to admit that Nine times out of ten, these these kind of people are vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's one of those it's personal choices, and it? it's like um, you know you can you can have a massive conversation about wearing rainbow laces and rainbow line line yards and stuff like that. You know, it's not really part of regulation uniform, but some people can wear it. Some forces allow it. Some forces don't allow it. It's just a massive conversation, is it? Outside yeah. of that, yeah. it'd be the same as the topics yeah. that you're raising. I am going to try. I'm going to go through the right channels, and I am going to try and get um, a badge, a symbol, whatever you want to call it, um, designed, and maybe uh, handed out to police officers um, to wear to um, represent. My brother was uh, murdered in police custody. Right. Um, Sorry to hear that. I know it's just one of them, isn't it? You know, life on life's terms, man. Um, so what's your what's your opinion? Would you wear one? I'm not going to give my opinion, no. But he has, sort of. Uh, no, I, I think mine's um, pretty much the same. And what about you, sir? Same. Same. Would you wear one? Would you wear one? <laughs> I'm crossing my fingers to, to um, hopefully... You know, my view's the same as what he's already spoken to you about, so... If there was a symbol or, or a badge there, would you wear one just to represent the people who's died and the people and police officers I, as well? I, I'm strict to my uniform, so whatever I'm provided by the MP, that's what I'm going to wear. Respect. Yep. Respect. Listen, have a good day and stay safe. Listen, there. guys. Listen, guys. Stay safe out there, yeah? See you later. Thanks for your time. So, guys, at least one of them was willing to have 
Uh, well, maybe two, even a years, uh, guy, if that's the right word to use, because you get into trouble for that kind of shit wrong, do you know, don't you? Um, but, yeah, um, at least two of them. One, the, the lady, more or less, said my stance is the same as him. But, listen, guys, respect where respect's due. Um, right. They stood and had a conversation. Exactly. I wish I had my phone. Cause I have well, have you left your phone? I can't. No, but you only got eight minutes, do so The last one was seven and a half. Well, you shouldn't, because you've got to, we're going to have to have a look at that phone, mate. I'm going to have to have a look at your phone. Um, so, guys, listen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split, I'm going to bounce, and I'll catch us all on the rebound, guys. Again, tell me your thoughts on that, guys. Listen, I know a lot of people want to see confrontation in these videos. Um, guys, listen, I don't mind having a bit of confrontation with them, if I'm honest. Um, but, you know, I'll, I, I'm going to treat people the way that they treat me. If they're going to treat me with respect and talk to me with respect, then I'll talk back to them with respect. If they're going to talk to me, um, like that detective earlier, just because of his demeanour, uh, the way he was looking at me, then he got a bit of an attitude, guys. Um, so, yeah, respect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split. I'm going to bounce. And I'll catch us all on the rebound, guys. Until then, guys, please stay safe. Be lucky. Respect every time. Let's turbinate it out.